Yes, good afternoon. It's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Thursday, the 27th of February, 2020. Uh, this is just a quick recap on the 12-hour high probability charts. I didn't do a video this morning. It's um, in the middle of the day at the moment, lunchtime. So the candles for the 12-hour charts for me are 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. local. That's um, in Vietnam. So I haven't done a video for two days because not much has been happening. So I'll just run through every pair to let you know where we're at. Simple rules to follow, so I can't fudge them. None of my indicators read paint, so we'll just go through them. Um, so first one is my um, watch list on the right here. OzCAD in a cell here. I've already closed half and got a stop and place so you can read my notes here so there's a sell close four close one and stop set so stop there locking in profit on that sell i took a buy on this green qmp filter dot that's this green dot here um that's the blue lines represent buys red lines represent sells the dash red dash lines are stop so overall break even for this is down here somewhere if both trades combined, there's my overall break even down here. You can read the level there. As long as it's, that's net plus 0 0.01, therefore, as long as I'm above that yellow line, I'm in profit both trades, which is cool. So that's the AusCAD, AusSwiss. Uh, not much has changed here once it comes up. I think I'm in a cell. Yep, in a cell here. Uh, you see, Trend lines, red ones signif signify um, some sort of bearish divergence. So in this case, it's hidden bearish divergence, which is my favourite signal, back into the MAs and bounce off that and down. Red dot on the QMP filter, which is a bit hard to see, just the left of the crosshair there, and we're good. And since price has already gone through the MACD Platinum Zero level, closed one and stop set just above the entry level. I won't take any further action on this trade until there is a new green dot on the MACD Platinum below the zero level or a possibility of a spy signal on the QMP filter also. All right, Oz New Zealand. Now, this one was just going sort of sideways. I've tidied up my um, notes here so you can see what I've done this morning or just, just about an, um, less than an hour ago. I've closed, I was in a sell, then I was in a hedge buy, then a second sell for a bigger position size. That second sell was 0 0.06. These other two trades were at 0 0.02. So there's a sell, hedge buy to protect my position because the MACD platinum was still above the zero level. Then I took a second sell on this red QMP dot and it Price has gone through, uh, the MACD Platinum has gone through the zero level, so I'm sort of in no man's land a bit there. So what I've done is I've just got rid of the trade. So this this one here is gone, and this one here is gone. So that's this buy, that one's that one, it's gone. And that was this the original sell, which was here, so that's gone. So now I've just got uh, 0 0.02, and the stop in place just below the entry level. So if it keeps on going down, breaks through this sort of little support level here, great. Um, we have a, um, I have a, um, a new red dot on the MACD platinum, which sort of helps things a bit. So, so that's where we're at. That's the Aussie New Zealand. So I've just closed a couple of trades and I'm gonna no, no lose two trades and a partial of that third trade. It gave me a whopping profit of 31 cents. All right, they can't even buy a beer in Vietnam, 31 cents. Um, Aussie USD in a sell back here. You can read my notes. It was a part of a, um, a sequence. I already closed some, got a few dollars. My stop's in place here now, and it's just plodding down. I'll just follow it down with a stop. Aussie's tanking a bit. CAD Swiss. In a sell, same sort of deal. It's fallen nicely through. This was a part of a sequence of trades. Remember, this is the one I got in trouble with. And I, I think I've only got, oh, yeah, 0 0.01 left on. Stop in place above there. Can't really lose overall, so that's all right. Euro Aussie in a nice buy down here. Once the you'll see all the indicators come up. So there's a blue QMP filter dot. MACD platinum below the zero level. 
um, divergence there, which is great, and off we go. And that was a hidden bullish divergence, which I said is my favourite. MAs were sort of tight. That's the uh, 50, 100 EMA and the 240 linear weighted MA. So that's got up nicely. It's broken through this previous high. You can read my notes, paying a few dollars on that one. Euro CAD, I think this is a buy too. See how good we are here. Yep, nice buy signal there, right at the right at the turning point. It was a high risk trade. You can uh, I didn't write any notes there. I probably should have. Um, the trend was down. There's no supporting divergence, but this method I'm basically in the market all the time. QMP filter dot green dot. MACD platinum below zero, take it, taking that. And now we're up to the 240 LMA. I think already closed one, good profit. Euro Swiss, this one's a little bit ugly, going sideways. Tough pair to trade this at the moment. You know, you had this huge, nice downtrend, and it's sort of consolidating. But I mean, a sell here, closed half, got a stop in place just above this high here. So the sell's sweet. You know, taking, taking a buy. And it's really gone nowhere. And my overall break even for both trades is this yellow dash line, which price has been hopping around for a few days now. And that price has to be above it for me to be overall profitable. So this is one that I am dragging the chain a bit on. But it's, all, it's not that big a deal. It's a slow mover. Euro pound, I took a sell a couple of days ago in here. And I've since, yesterday at 5 p.m., I took a hedge buy on this. So I went basically from a sell and I protected it, locked in this loss between the, the two trades. So overall, break in, NA, not applicable as I'm hedged. So my sell's from 0 0.2, my hedge buy is 0 0.02. So they're both the same. Now I'm looking for price to roll over and give me another sell trade. That's the plan, as I always say. Euro yen, not sure what I'm in here, but pretty ugly sort of looking chart at the moment. Yeah, in a sell. Went started to go down nicely, back to my entry level. Um, MACD Platinum still above the zero level. There's good hidden bearish divergence, which I like, so I'm quite happy to play this out, no worries at all, but at the moment not going anywhere. Euro USD, hopefully I'm going to buy here. Um, yep, there's a buy in this turning point here. Again, a higher risk trade. Um, Need that anymore? It's a high risk trade against the trend. No supporting divergence. It's gone up nicely. I've already closed half once the MACD platinum went through the zero level. So I probably closed half in here somewhere. Uh, took a small profit. Stops there in place now. So overall, I can't lose on this trade. So, you know, because I've already closed half my stops in a place where even if it got stopped out, it wouldn't be that big a deal. So it's the Euro, New Zealand CAD. This one's causing me a bit of grief, as a few of the NZ pairs are, as you'll see. Uh, you can read my notes. Um, I'm in a buy. See, look, the MACD Platinum's basically stayed up below the zero level for the, inter the whole time. So I've taken a buy, hedge sell, second buy, second hedge sell, third buy, when it started to turn up there. And here's my overall break even, and now price has dropped away again. Starting to turn up again now. So we'll try and get that up and get this MACD platinum through the zero level. If I don't get um, back to that overall break-even level, then if a, a sell presents, I'll take a hedge sell and I'll take a new sequence, start a new sequence. So it's a bit ugly. It's, and you'll probably see the sequence thing on the... All right, this is a New Zealand Swiss. This is another ugly one. I've got two sequences here. So... Uh, you can read the notes. So I've got a buy, followed by a hedge sell, a second buy, and a second hedge sell. So that's this top sequence here. So break even for them is at NA because it's hedged. Then I took a another sell in here. Now I'm not sure why that was. Ah. Oh, this second sequence was a part of a, a new sequence that started here on this, see the MACD platinum, the red dot there. I took a sell followed by a hedge buy. So this was the second sequence, then a third sell. Now I've already cleared that sequence because price went down through the zero level, took its 
break even level out and I've closed another 0.01. So overall, my break even for all these trades is this actual level here. So if price gets below that, I can close all these trades and get out at break even, and which is probably a smart thing to do because this sequence here is a little bit ugly. And with the New Zealand crashing a bit, as is the Aussie, it just probably makes sense. But the MACD's platinum's getting a long way below the zero level, so it might be worth uh, looking to take, ignoring this overall break even if it gets to it, uh, cash in on this second trade or move my stop down, then try and work my way out of this top sequence here. It's not very, um, I know, probably a little bit confusing, but that's just the way I'm looking at the moment. New Zealand USD, I think I'm in the, sort of the same sort of situation with this year. You've got two sequences going. You can read my notes. So this is the first one. You've got to buy, hedge sell, second buy, second hedge sell, then a third buy in here. And my overall, then I've got a second sequence, sell, which is in this one. And I've got a third sequence, which is a buy on this one. So this is getting a little bit confusing, a little bit messy. That's why I keep notes on the chart. And I can work out the overall break even. So, my, yeah. So the overall break even is there, is the, um, that 63911, which is the lower yellow dotted line. And the break even for the first sequence is 64016. So there's a little bit of mass to do. It's a little bit tricky and you can you can get a bit tricky with trade management. So if the New Zealand suddenly pulls up through here, I'll be stopped out on one trade because uh, I've got a stop set on that second sell sequence, which is this one, just below the entry level. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit ugly. It's a little bit confusing. But if you basically look at the MACD Platinum and that, that'll give you an idea where the sequences start. I'm taking sells if the MACD Platinum's above the zero level and I'm taking buys if it's below the zero level. Pause the video and just have a look. Uh, USD Swiss franc in nothing, I don't think, on this one at the moment. I sort of was in a sell up here and I sort of got I shook, I got a bit nervous around this area and got out of it probably in hindsight. Dumb. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It's trading. Especially when trading with live money, you sort of, it's not like a demo account. Anyway, moving on. USD Japanese yen took a sell up here. Uh, I got a bit concerned when I sort of hit the the MAs because it was a high risk trade against this sort of gradual uptrend. Um, so I got a bit nervous and closed half before the MACD Platinum even went through the zero level, and it's gone through the zero level now down here, which is good. Made a few dollars, stops under my point of entry. So we'll just wait and see how this pans out. So that's it, guys, for the 12-hour high probability chance. Thanks for watching. If you do like these videos, please either hit the subscribe button or at least hit the like button. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and remember, in the video description, there will be a link to the shared spreadsheet for this trading. Um, as I said, these, this QMP filter dot is my own custom indicator, as is the MACD Platinum. Well, this is not mine, but I use it. It's a um, um, It's just a zero-lag MACD. So this, and not, these don't repaint, they form on the close of the candle. So they don't repaint, you'll never, if you go back in history or forward test in the simulator, you'll see they don't repaint. So that you, you know my rules, so if I'm a bit late with videos, you know where my entry is because it's the open of the next candle. So I've got a sell on this one. My entry is on the open, basically or close to the open of the next candle. So. No worries, gone on long enough. Thanks very much for watching. Enjoy your day. Cheers.